Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm high school right now. Oh shit. Hmm. Midway. Midway, midway. Let's see. Neo San Francisco, 2064 oh. AD. Oh, shit. Thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. Okay, this ain't real. Now commonplace thanks to Parallax are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, Humanity's destiny will be altered. Beep boop beep. I am a robot. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic art. might be a better deceptigator. Descriptor. Descriptor. A better descriptor. Alright. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's plan. It's pretty 
bad shit. Is this isn't this supposed to be one of the, of the easier plants to take care of? What? This is different. This is really different. I never play this kind of this kind of fucking games anyway. Like a story based crazy shit. Oh, what the fuck is happening here?
Okay, damn, damn, nigga, damn. Pram, nigga, pram. why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace. 
As you awoke, I... Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. The beginning. Okay, yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. Excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's... He's currently researching advanced machine... Exploring true artificial sapience. Possible that the idea of it either to stop a regular romp, they can appear rather, but they're just. Is there any point to this game? Am I actually gonna play the game or am I just gonna click some shit? sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed Oh, a lucky break! It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does.
will do. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Hm, of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. I won't for the same reason you don't go around random. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... Excellent point. Let's start searching for... That's Hayden's computer. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM, but desktop rigs like this are still... Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask... Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software, if I attempt to slice in. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I lack that ability. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it... Alright, this game. Talking, talking, talking.